Hey everyone, this is Chappie over here at Intense, and for today's video we're going to be going over how to use our included Intense tools. So that's going to include our torque wrench, our shock pump, our LT25 wrench, and our three-way. Alright, so as you can see here we have our Intense torque wrench. So it'll have our torque wrench and then our various assorted Allen driver bits, flatheads, Torx bits, adapters, and also Phillips heads options. And there we will have our shock pump or suspension pump and this will be used to set up our sag for our front and rear suspension. We'll have our LT25, Torx 25 wrench. This is to help with controls or various forms of adjustment. And then also our three-way Allen wrench. This will include a four millimeter, a five millimeter, and a six millimeter. So let's go over the details and function of our intense torque wrench. So here is our intense torque wrench. Um, the torque wrench here is going to have a multi-directional head, meaning we can flip this lever over to loosen or tighten. And then also this button is a quick release button. So this is intended to one, lock our bit on so it does not fall off. And then two, gives us the ability to depress that button and that will release the bit. Next is more of the detailed function of how we go about setting different torque values on our torque wrench. So you see at the bottom of the collar, we have our 10th of a Newton meter indications and that will wrap all the way around. So the one we want to focus on is our number zero. So this is our baseline 10th of a Newton meter measurement. So this will give us a whole Newton meter increment as we go through our scale. So above that on our shaft right here, you can see our, our scale with a center line, which will be lining our hash mark from our zero up with. And off to the left or to the right, you'll also notice numbers. So the torque wrench scale starts down at two newton meters, which we are currently set at with our zero lined up to the center hash mark and the top lined up with number two. That goes all the way up to 15 newton meters. So this will give us the ability to adjust and retorque most all aspects of the bike. All right, so how do we go about adjusting the torque value of our torque wrench? Well, it's quite simple. There's two aspects that we've got to take into account as we go through this. We have our locking collar. So when it's in that up position or spring loaded position, that will make sure that we're in the accurate position within 10th of a newton meter. And then also when this lock lever is pulled down, this will give us the ability to rotate our handle, both left or right. So we're at two newton meters now. Let's say we're going to be working on our stem. That is at five to seven newton meters. So we can go at five newton meters. We're currently at zero. So that means we're gonna have to go three newton meters. Now every revolution we turn this handle is one newton meter. So what we'll do is we will pull our locking collar down and we are gonna, starting at the zero, we're gonna go three full revolutions. So there's one. There's two, and there's three. So now you can see our line is at five newton meters. So and if we need to go down to four newton meters, we would do the same thing, but in reverse operation. So starting with our zero there, we'd pull our locking collar down and do just like before, one full revolution to get one newton meter less of torque. Once that collar locks in place, I'll indicate it's in the appropriate spot within 10th of a Newton meter. All right, so next in line is our intense shock pump or known as a suspension pump. So again, very simple um, pump. We have our pumping lever here. We have our pressure release valve here. So we can use this once it's hooked up to bleed pressure off or reduce the amount of air pressure that's in our fork or our shock. Then also we have a swivel hose here. Um, with a standard Schrader valve. So this is designed to hook up specifically to suspension. So we have our three-way Allen wrench. This is what you kind of use day to day. Uh, this is a really good tool to keep 
um, with you in the car or whatever you, whatever you use for transportation to uh, just kind of check your stem, check your bolts and things like that. Uh, and then also if you're removing anything, this is, this is the primary tool. So you always want to use this tool for, you know, removing and tightening um, bolts in general. And then you always will come back with our torque wrench to set our final torque values. This is a very important aspect of bicycle service and maintenance is making sure that each one of the bolts that we work on is final torqued with a torque wrench. All right, so now that we know how to set up our torque wrench, let's see how we use it. So we have our four millimeter Allen on our stem that clearly indicates five newton meters, which we are set up with here. We're just gonna simply engage our bolt head and we're going to rotate the lever. You're gonna build torque. And as soon as you get that click, you'll notice the head of our torque wrench does not move, but the handle does. That indicates that we have reached that established torque value of five newton meters and that we should not go beyond that. All right, so there you have it. We've gone over the basic setup and use of our Intense tools. So these tools will be included with every one of the Intense 951 series trail or XC. Um, and these tools will give us the ability to maintain and service our bikes on a regular basis. If you have any questions or need any further assistance with our tools or how to work on the bikes, we have a extensive technical video library and then also don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'll always be happy to help and make sure that your bike is performing as intended and that you are having a good time out on the trails. Thanks so much for choosing the tents.